Krakatoa Anak volcano in Indonesia erupting, extraordinary footage of intense explosion, water fighting with lava. This is on Volcano Discovery. You can have, there's an embedded video you can see there of those who have been close enough to video this. Krakatoa Volcano News and Eruption Updates. The Krakatoa Volcano, meaning the child of Krakatoa, Krakatoa Anak Volcano in the Sunda Strait in Indonesia. Extraordinary footage shows intense explosions of water with lava. This is January 2nd, 2019 footage. The Circean explosion at Anak Krakatoa that took place yesterday. Some of the most terrifying explosions on Anak Krakatoa recently filmed. The correspondent Donny Jansukulo from Kilainda Lampung took advantage of the clear views yesterday, January 2nd, and he was able to take some of the most extraordinary dramatic footage of these explosions on the collapsing Anak Krakatoa Island. As we know, it's uh, lost about a quarter of its uh, mass that has slipped into the sea and that has displaced the ocean into a tsunami. Even though it's from 40 kilometers away, it still shows the activity in amazing detail. It takes place on the island of, as we said, Anak Krakatoa, meaning the child of Krakatoa. It's hidden from you, a view now behind Pyongyang Island, seen in the foreground. The active vent is underwater and lets sea water interact vilely with the rising magma. So that part of the volcano, which is underwater, of course, is exploding, causing all these uh, dramatic things, these, this uh, volcanic ash, the magma fighting with the water. This is what we saw also at the, the events taking place in Kilauea and people were warned to stay away from it because this gives rise to the uh, volcanic glass uh, which is very very um, hazardous to the health if it gets into your eyes it can blind you if it gets into your lungs uh, it can uh, cause terrible lung damage because there's no way you can get, retrieve this glass from your lungs so this is the the volcanic glass, the uh, instance of this eruption, the chemical makeup turns into a, 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 a glass type of a structure. This is what's happening here as well. Now the active vent is underwater and lets seawater interact violently with the rising magma and the results is the Circean activity is a type of a volcanic eruption that takes place in shallow seas or lakes. It's named after the island of Circe, which appeared off the southern coast of Iceland and had this activity back in 1963. So this video here is uh, shows the, the powerful explosions generating by the jets of ash and debris and fighting with the water, steam and water, to several hundreds of meters high, radially from the explosion point, also large surges, horizontally expanding hot clouds of steam mixed with ash can be seen sometimes engulfing the whole island of Pyongyang, which is hidden, hiding the view of the Anak Krakatoa itself. Explosions tend to be bigger and bigger throughout the video, and it's amazing, you should see this, the video was uh, generously granted for display by local residents videographer Donny Janskulo, who lost most of his equipment during the December 22, 2018 tsunami that devastated Java's west coast because of this eruption. I'll leave a link below. This is from Volcano Discovery. And we also saw that uh, the, uh, this latest Krakatoa eruption has not is no longer affecting the air or sea transport according to the minister and uh, also what has happened is that after the island has the the volcano has uh, subsided there has been uh, as we said a lot of uh, ash 
Volcanic Observatory of Aviation Information authorizes rerouting flights. There's been volcanic ash reaching heights of 500 to 700 meters, but it has not spread across a large area in the last two days. Planes flying at a height of between 5,000 and 10,000 meters. Um, What they've claimed is January 2nd news update. The latest update is that the, the Indonesian tsunami alert after new cracks appear on Krakatoa. So uh, it's still, still some kind of an un ongoing activity. What they've been close enough to see is that two cracks have appeared after the volcano's height dropped uh, a third of a, of a third from 338 meters to 110 meters. That's from about a thousand feet to about 300 feet following its eruption December 22nd. So two cracks have appeared on Anak Krakatoa volcano. This has prompted the Indonesian authorities to urge those in the area to be alert in case of another collapse to be set off, setting off another tsunami. The head of the Meteorology, Climatology, Geophysical Agency told reporters Wednesday, yesterday, January 2nd, he says, of course, the hope is that it will not be like what happened on December 22nd, but we ask the public to be vigilant when they are in the 500 meter zone around the coast. A section of Anak Krakatoa slope collapsed after it erupted that day. It slid into the ocean, displacing a massive amounts of water that sent waves up to five meters high, that's about 15 feet in height, and it crashed uh, into densely populated areas in Sumatra and Java Islands. The two cracks appear after the volcano's height dropped from 338 meters to 110 meters following the, that eruption. From the latest that they know and that from they seen from what they seen from air footage, the mountain is sloping and smoke is rising from beneath the seawater, as we said. It's still, of course, erupting, and the body of the mountain we see from the surface, there are cracks that continue to emit smoke. The cracks are certainly deep, unlike normal gaps. The two cracks, which are close to each other, sparked some concern for her agencies, as we are worried about this, that if there is another eruption, the cracks might connect and weaken the slope, causing part of the mountain again to collapse, of course, causing another tsunami. The area around the volcano is still being monitored closely by the authorities. The new cracks have been spotted. Anak Krakatoa's volcanic activity has been decreasing, but it's still there. Meanwhile, Transport Ministry is keeping an eye on volcanic ash so that it can decide when flights should be rerouted. In the meantime, because of the displaced people and the uh, properties that have been damaged, they will not have temporary homes. They will have a rebuilding of uh, uh, public housing, building new housing in an er another area about uh, 400 meters away from the flattened homes. They said we will go into reconstruction and development phase. There will be no temporary shelters. Housing will be relocated uh, to a new location because this location is vulnerable to tsunamis. Now, as more news comes concerning this, we'll keep an eye out and keep you updated. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. 
and we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.